Hello and welcome to Perchance to Dram. I have here today the latest release in the Maker's Mark wood finishing series. Shout out to my friend Felicia who picked this up for me and held on to it uh, until uh, I could be bothered to, to go down and collect it from her. Uh, this is the 2021 limited release uh, of the wood finishing series. Uh, Maker's Mark is a bourbon that is distilled in Loretto, Kentucky. It's a weeded bourbon, and those are always lovely. Uh, and the most special thing about it, um, and what the wood finishing series uh, alludes to, uh, is that uh, they put in, you know, a variety of staves for their wood finishing series into um, a barrel of, of aging Maker's Mark. In this case, tin virgin toasted American oak staves, uh, and the, uh, the stav profile FAE01. They have several different profiles where they can mix and match um, how that goes. Uh, and on the back of the bottle it says, at Maker's Mark, our wood finishing series is a purposeful exploration to push the flavor boundaries of our classic bourbon and truly pioneering ways. For the 2021 release, we set out to create an expression to pay homage to our unique copper still design and celebrate our non-chill filtration process. Uh, this approach retains more of the fatty acid esters in our bourbon, resulting in bigger fruit notes and viscosity. It says that this is fruit forward with more focus on barrel extractive. So my understanding is that this is basically the, the normal Maker's Mark juice that has uh, had an extra treatment with these, these staves and that, um, that, that extra finishing or maturation period was in their underground limestone um, cave warehouse, uh, which is which is kind of cool. And of course, limestone, it's a big talking point in Kentucky that their limestone filters out certain metals and other impurities in the water, and that that uh, has beneficial effects, um, at least on the, on the fermentation of the whiskey. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Of course, the characteristic Maker's Mark wax seal, always fun. All right. Beautiful color. Um, so as I said, Maker's Mark is a wheated bourbon. Uh, the mash bill is 70% corn, 16% wheat, um, and the rest is malted barley. One thing about the last couple of years in my whiskey journey is that I've broadened my horizons. Um, I used to consider myself really only, only a Scotch guy and maybe with the occasional Irish whiskey. And a couple factors there. A, Utah doesn't have the best selection and I've kind of been through everything that they have. Um, and B, the, the tariffs made that even, even more um, you know, apparent in that they're not you know, buying new, um, you know, new expressions um, to, to stock in the, in the state liquor store. So I found myself experimenting uh, with other things and it's been really, really great. Uh, rye was one of the first things that I started to, to veer into. Um, it, it has um, a spicy character and can also go in some kind of weird ways that remind me of some of the the very different and contrasting varieties of uh, of scotch um, for instance uh, you know you can check out my video on on the balconis uh, which was quite interesting their uh, their rye and uh, and then I started getting getting more into bourbon so now I guess I would probably consider myself um, more of a whiskey all around, though I, I definitely have more more experience with scotch. Ooh, oh, fruity, little bit, little bit of a spice, maybe peppery in there, but definitely quite quite fruity. Oh, getting some good alcohol notes in there. 
this is 55.15. Uh, uh, so I, I cast strength, I don't think they diluted it at all. Mm, definitely a, a weighted bourbon. I mean, it has that fruit sweetness to it. Maybe a little bit of caramel kicking in. Yeah, tr kind of a tropical fruit. A mm, little bit of cinnamon. And a little bit more into the wood spiciness I'm getting now. Uh, all right, slosh. really quite, quite great. The palate brings it for me. The nose, not so much. Maybe I'd like to sit with that for a little longer, but the palate first up, it's a, uh, I get this burst of uh, maybe sour fruit. I mean, the, the nearest thing my mind went to was like grape, but grape that has gone off a bit. And then you definitely move into, and it becomes a little bit more, more herbal, almost clove something in the bread area. And now, mmm, yeah. I mean, it's feeling quite quite brown, light brown. Mmm, like Guinness bread, with maybe just a hint of like raspberry jam. Mmm, a little bit more of the wood in there and kind of the, mmm, I don't know if resinous is the right word, but just kind of the peppery, fresh forest wood notes. And yeah, one thing that as a newcomer, relative newcomer to uh, the bourbon category is I, I'm still not entirely certain if, if this is legally a bourbon, right? Because on the bottle it says Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, barrel finished with tin virgin oak staves. And then it it, it also says that here. Because um, bourbon, when you look at the, the law that, you know, dictates what the what it is um, in charred, you know, virgin American oak. Uh, so it's bourbon whiskey that has then been finished. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe, maybe someone can explain that to me. Put that in the comments if, if they're try like, because there's a lot of these. I mean, there's Angel, Angels Envy started finishing. Um, there's you know a bunch of other um, producers that are putting out good you know finishing, and that's a, a new frontier in bourbon and something that's very exciting. But is it bourbon? <laughs> I suppose this is probably the confusion that, you know, bourbon drinkers feel around, uh, you know, uh, around, uh, you know, single malt and uh, blended malt um, and then blended scotch whiskey. Um, at, at least they've done away with the terrible old term vatted malt. Uh, but I digress. Oh yeah, still fruity, kind of nutty in there. Uh, mm, yeah, it has a kind of sweet fruitiness at the beginning and then it, it very quickly dries down to something a bit more savory, more in the bread space and just kind of generally Herbal, like a flavored tobacco, kind of. All right, verdict. Uh, this is great. Uh, it, it's right up my alley. Getting some banana there. 
a little bit of banana bread. Yeah, right up my alley uh, as as a, as a bourbon. It's it's not too sweet. Like it has has a lot of layers, so it has that that kind of sweetness that maybe you want uh, sometimes in a, in a in a bourbon, like a good weeded one. Um, you know, Weller and 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 of course Van Winkle are all the rage these days. Uh, but then it it also has a little bit more into drier and more kind of savory herbal things, uh, so it's it's not a one trick pony. Um, so yeah, if you can get this for sixty, seventy, eighty bucks, um, awesome. And you know, it's when it's gone, it's gone. It's it's one of their kind of yearly limited releases, but it, it shouldn't be too rare, and you should be able to find it. Um, on the shelves at the time that I filmed this uh, in in May of, of 2021 but uh, mm. yeah definitely definitely recommended particularly if you already like Maker's Mark um, and and maybe you know maybe you buy a bottle every once in a while or, or try it in a bar like I usually do um, and want to want to get something that's a little bit a little bit more premium and a little bit more different, um, then I would definitely recommend this. But anyway, um, that's enough from me um, to drink, perchance to dram. Thanks for watching.